Hey guys, my name's Ben, and welcome to episode 31 of Bucket Tutorials. And today we're going to be talking about generating cubes. Um, this is a pretty inefficient way of generating a cube, as far as I'm aware. But um, if, if you get the hang of this, you can learn how to make things like um, so it claims areas and stuff. So the logic we're going to base this off is uh, how you rent get. How you do it in games, where in, in 2D games. So here's a, a cube I drew. Um, uh, so in, in 2D games, you do a for loop for the x and the y, and you put them inside of each other. Uh, so here, if I just draw this quick, this this not so cube cube, but um, it will do this here, and then so it will do it will do this bit here, and then it will do. All the all of that. So it will do, do the x, one x, and then all of that y. Then the next x, and then all of that y, until it's all filled up. So we're going to be doing that, but we have a z-axis. So what we do is we we get the first x-axis here, and then we we go ahead and get the the y-axis. So we go all up the y. And then we do the Z. So we go across. And then it moves on to the next X. And then the Y. Then the Z. X, Y, Z. Now you could do it Z, Y. <laughs> Wait. Z, Y, X. Or you could do Y, Z, X. Or something. Uh, but this way is by far the easiest way. I think to get to fill up the cube like that. So uh, if the command is cube, then we're going to do make a follow for int int x equals player dot um, get. Well, let's just do int x equals a hundred, and then do it while x is less than a hundred and ten x plus plus and then do four uh I keep putting commas there four int y equals a hundred and um, well y is less than a hundred and ten and then y plus plus c plus plus int z equals a hundred z is less than a hundred and ten z plus plus There we go, like that. Um, then location, location, location equals new location. Um, then we're gonna get players world. So player dot get world x y z. Um, then we should do location dot get block dot set type material dot stone. Or nether rack. That'll work. Um, so go into plugin.yml. Make the command cube. Let's run through this. So basically, it, the int x is equal to 100. So that's going to be here, which is going to be the, the, the location 100. And it's going to go and it's going to keep on adding up, keep on adding and adding and adding till 110. So it's going to be. 10 across if we go into here so oh blah. so um it's going to be there and then what's going to happen is it's going to do the y so it's going to go do all of the y on that row because it's looping the y and that's going to keep on looping so it's going to do all the loops in here before it goes back to this loop so actually it's going to do all of the Z first so it's going to go like this here and then it's going to go up and do that and then it's going to go to the next one and do this 
and up and across and just like that I think so let's explore this and I'll be back with you in the game right so we're back and this is um, actually TP pause 100 100 100 so it's actually right here um, up up a bit though so if we do forward slash let's go up my screen cube it's gonna make this cube out of netherrack in the sky and if we find the starting point it was this dirt block there right there isn't that amazing so if we're to remove this cube with the world edit a thousand blocks because you know ten times ten times ten is a thousand ten three oh, that, um, ten three uh, so if we do cube it's gonna make the nether oak and we could keep on doing this cube cube and it just keep on making this square out of nether rack. Isn't that amazing? So basically uh let's do this visually. Uh but in three D <laughs> um it's gonna go so X is um this way. Z is this way. So X it's gonna go X so first of all it's X, then it's Y, then it's Z. So it goes like this. 7, 8, 8, 9, 10. Then it's going to go um, up one and do this. So I'm going to do it too high. And then it's going to go like this. And go like this. And it's going to keep But this does it so fast um, that you can't see it. And then it just keep on does it like this, and it just goes up, and then across, up, and then across. And it does it because because X is the first on it, it's going to go back to that. It always does the one and the last. The one you type in last does it first, because it that's going to loop. If you see, see like that loops there, and it keeps on, and then it breaks out of that loop, and it's to this bracket. It's just going to like oh I'm, I've got to do this loop again now, and it breaks out of that loop. It goes back to this loop. I think. <laughs> um, anyway, question of the day, which I've started to face cam or not to face cam. Put face cam up here, or not to put face cam up there. You know. You think? Think about it. Think. Tutorial's ending soon. <laughs> Thought I might throw that one in there. Um, if you don't want it to end, I I could keep it going forever. If people send me requests for things <laughs> because with the amount of requests I normally get um, I keep it going but they're sort of slowing down now um, so if you want this series to keep on going send requests because I've done all the stuff that you know you sort of need to know to be able to do stuff I could teach you if you send me a request so I've already had some requests like a teams plugin uh, spawning creatures was one um, stuff like that this cube one was one one of the last ones I was going to do before moving on. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Facecam or not to Facecam? Comment, description, like, favorite, subscribe.